recreating some iconic images of royal visits past might be a perfect way to mark a tour which is celebrating the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. So at a passing out parade today in Kingston in his tropical uniform, Prince William joined Kate in the back of a Land Rover that his grandparents had used before. The Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh here did the same in 1994 and even used it in the 1960s. But given the debate about the monarchy's role in Jamaica, it has also served as a vivid reminder of Britain's colonial past. And it was to the darkest chapter of that past that William addressed in a speech here, Britain's role in the trafficking of hundreds of thousands of slaves to these islands. I strongly agree with my father, the Prince of Wales, who said in Barbados last year that the appalling atrocity of slavery forever stains our history. I want to express my profound sorrow. Slavery was abhorrent and it should never have happened. This has not been an easy visit, protests about slavery, but also about becoming a republic and removing the Queen as head of state. Jamaica had the largest number of slaves in the whole of what was the British West Indies. Emancipation Park in Kingston is where they celebrate the moment of freedom. Visitors to the park this morning told us they want more than just a speech. It's good to say it, it's good to come out and say it, but following up on, you know, on the words, then you can start in small ways, start with your circle, start doing things to show that you don't really support that. It's a different time. Slavery in the Caribbean was driven not through the Queen or the King of England, but through the House of Common and the House of Lords. Yeah, but you do want to cut ties with the British royal family. It's time yeah, to cut man, the ties. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah, man, because we have these wigs and we have to, uh, we have the <laughs> Westminster system down. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> With the Jamaican leg now complete, this evening this tour has moved to a different realm, the Bahamas. Before they left Jamaica, some of those campaigning for reparations there told me they thought William and Kate's visit was tone deaf, but then they were never going to welcome members of the royal family. For some, tradition is to be celebrated. For others, it's a reminder they want to move on. Chris Shippen News at 10 in the Bahamas.